The first thing, the first step that Nehemiah took in hearing the news that the walls are destroyed, that the people are in trouble and shame, is he did something that most of us never think about doing, that most of us never take the time to do. And it's in verse four, he says, as soon as I heard these words, I sat down and wept. So let's pick up the story, and I'm going to start at verse 1 through 3. Now it happened in the month of Chislev, in the 20th year, as I saw, as I was in Susa, the citadel, and this is Nehemiah writing, that Han and I, one of my brothers, came with certain men from Judah. He's in Babylon, and, and, and now these friends, his brothers, and other men come from Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews. How's, it, how's everybody doing at home? How's everybody doing back in the city of God? He said, I asked them concerning the Jews who escaped, who had survived exile, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said to me, the remnant there in the province who had survived the exile is in great trouble and shame. Why? Because the wall of Jerusalem is broken down and the gates, its gates, are destroyed by fire. The first thing, the first step that Nehemiah took in hearing the news that the walls are destroyed, that the people are in trouble and shame, is he did something that most of us never think about doing, that most of us never take the time to do. And it's in verse 4. He says, as soon as I heard these words, I sat down and wept. I sat down and mourned. I sat down and mourned. And notice it's not just for a moment, it was what? It was for what? It was for days. Our culture is not good at mourning. And I know that because I'm a product of our culture. And I'm not good at mourning either. I just want to get over it and go back. We want to get back to normal. We want to push everything aside, our feelings, our fears, our sadness. We want to mourn too fast and we want to mourn too quiet. But let me ask you something this morning. Is there a hurt? Is there a loss? You've never taken the time to mourn? You may have faced this hurt a long time ago, or you may have faced, be facing it right now. There are huge hurts in life, such as the loss of a loved one, a failed business, a diagnosis of a terminal illness, or even growing old. And then there are everyday hurts of life. But with both, you need to take the time to mourn them long and loud, knowing that if you don't, you will miss the promise of God's comfort. So this week, before you forget, before you get busy again, before you think you need to push on, stop and take the time to write down the losses and hurts of your life. Maybe it's a loss and hurt from a long time ago. Maybe it's a loss and hurt from just the other day. But you need to stop and you need to mourn long and loud.